October, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our October wig report. So we've officially entered the fourth quarter of 2023. This is it, one quarter to go in the year. So let's finish it strong. I have a handful of updates to kick us off. The first update I have is that we still have three spots remaining in our next company-sponsored impact trip to Kenya with Untold. Those that participated in our fall trip, they went to Tanzania, they just got back last week or so, and I'm sure they would love to share their experience with you. So please ask. Three more spots if you're interested. So now let's talk about how we finished the third quarter. It was a great quarter overall with gains in both occupancy and team members. We increased our team member headcount by a whopping 4.2%, which made it our best growth quarter of this year. Absolutely fantastic. We increased overall census by 0.4%, which is also the biggest quarter over quarter gains, and those occurred in assisted living and memory care. And I'll also note that our September census was up across the full continuum of care, IL, AL, memory care, and skilled. And so both of those, the improving head count, improving census count, those are great trends as we head into the fourth and final quarter of the year. And so another critical update as we start this quarter is that wage bands were just updated effective September 29th, so start of the pay period, and be sure to check Paylocity for any changes that might have impacted you. Now the last, and this is absolutely the most important update, is that our Great Place to Work survey kicks off in less than two weeks on October 13th. The survey is gonna be open from October 13th through the 26th. Please, please, please be sure to participate and take advantage of this opportunity to influence positive change in your workplace. Today's leadership message is short and sweet and in the spirit of both priority management and change. Two things we focused on with all of our directors during recent annual meetings, such as our time spent on priority management this year. You know, ultimately life, both personal and professional, is full of decisions. It is easy to get decision fatigue, easy to get overwhelmed by both the amount of decisions we have to make in a day and on the time making those decisions. In fact, the more decisions we, we have to make, the harder it is and the more time it takes. One method for improving decision making, making this thing we all have to deal with day in, day out, every second of every day, personally and professionally. Now, one method for making it easier, uh, particularly as it relates to change and trying new things, is what we'll call the Bezos method. And it's coming us, to us from Jeff Bezos, founder of Amazon. Most folks know who that is. And so his, his method for, for change, making decisions, is, is simply this. If a decision is easy to reverse, make it fast. If it is hard to reverse, make it slow. If a decision is easy to reverse, make it fast because you can always change your mind. If a decision is hard to reverse, take your time and be thoughtful because it will be hard to turn back once you've made it. So, said this is going to be short and sweet. That is it. I encourage everyone to think of decisions through this lens. If it's easy to reverse, make it fast, try it, just give it a shot. You can always go back. If it's hard to reverse, Take your time, think it through, think the new consequences because it'll be hard to, hard to change once you've decided. So think through that lens and act accordingly. Uh, so for this month's team member benefit, uh, particularly as we enter the colder months and kids are now in the full swing of school, we want to remind you all that you receive a free telemedicine benefit. So uh, each of our team members receives free telemedicine for you and your family. So I repeat, for you and your family. This benefit is for every single team member, including part-time and PRM. It is not just for full-time team members. It is not just for those that uh, enroll or sign up in our other health insurance. We provide free telemedicine to everyone. Uh, so we all have free access to this benefit. The provider is called Teladoc. If you don't already have their app or have access to their website to log in, you can find a direct link to the Teladoc website, including uh, access to be able to download the app from Paylocity, whether you're doing that from your phone or online uh, via your computer. You can also always ask your HR director for help. So the way it works is we pay 100% of the fee for any virtual appointments, again, telemedicine, that you, your spouse, or your children use. So again, benefits your whole uh, immediate family. And we encourage you to utilize Teladoc and avoid the expense, hassle, and risk of going to urgent care, ER, even the doctor's office. Teladoc is so easy. Uh, it's free to you. 
take advantage. Hi, my name is Sarah Cunningham. I'm the social director here at the Lakes at Litchfield. I put in the Hero uh, Spotlight submission for uh, Bill Loftus. He's one of our transportation leaders here. Bill regularly goes above and beyond for us. And when he told me the story, I felt, you know, a calling to submit this for him. It made me really proud to be his supervisor and to have him part of our team. Recently, I had an opportunity to transport one of our members to uh, an appointment she had previously scheduled with her orthopedic physician. Uh, she was in a wheelchair and a little bit anxious. When we arrived, there were about five patients in the waiting room. We approached the receptionist and checked her in. We had the paperwork for the scheduled appointment, but the receptionist indicated she did not have that in her calendar. So our member was a bit disconcerted and somewhat upset. So I took it upon myself to ask the receptionist if she would ask the orthopedic physician to squeeze her in to his busy schedule. She said she would try. She came back within five minutes and said that our member could keep her appointment with the orthopedic physician. She was delighted and into the appointment. All's well, it ends well. It was a happy day for us here at the Lakes. We're proud to announce Darlene Duran as our hero spotlight. Darlene joined our facilities team as a night security. She transferred from Live Long Well Care where she has worked with us for four years. A few weeks ago, we had an independent living resident who came home from the hospital around 3 a.m. Darlene was able to help her to her room, make sure that she had food, make sure she was in her bed, and she had menus to help get her some meals for the next couple of days. She also made sure to communicate to our Live Long Well Care team that this resident was back and that we should check on her a few times throughout the rest of the day. Uh, Darlene, you know, she really went above and beyond caring for this resident. And we are very glad that Darlene has taken this position. She has brought our night security to another level. And we are thankful that Darlene is putting people first always. We are really lucky to have Richard as a part of our team at Walmart and Daniel Island. Richard is our floor tech and he works an off shift. He works in the afternoons into the evenings. He generally always has a smile and a kind word for everybody that he passes. We really appreciate everything that he does to go above and beyond his normal job duties. He is reliable, dependable, and does his job well. Just overall good guy. He goes above and beyond for all of our staff and residents, no matter the time of day. When he comes in at night, he gets right to work. He makes sure everything is done on his checklist and then asks around to see if there's anything else he can do to help anyone. I want to give a shout out this month to some very humble heroes here at Marsha's Edge. Back during our annual meeting, uh, Friday, August the 4th, one of our housekeeping team members came across one of our members during her daily uh, tasks and found this member unresponsive. Uh, this housekeeping team member responded with courage uh, and took action to, to go uh, gather up and assemble an amazing team of folks to help, uh, including David Wolitsky, uh, our CDM and social worker who we had left to hold down the fort uh, Betty Dipson, our housekeeping uh, supervisor and facilities coordinator, uh, Megan Sessions, CNA from our AL area, and Robin Cobb, uh, one of our LPNs, as well as three of our members from Broad River Rehab, including the director of rehab, Tish Hill, along with Katrina DeRay and Marisa Harvey. Uh, these individuals responded, started to perform CPR um, until the paramedics uh, arrived and they were, were relieved. Uh, but these team members also did a lot to give and provide comfort to all the other independent living members that were around the situation, uh, this member's neighbors, um, and it was, uh, it was heartwarming to get such a positive report from our independent living members, uh, praise reports on the way that these folks responded, uh, answered a call to action, um, and they are truly uh, heroes of Marsha's Edge. Awesome work, heroes, and thank you to everyone for all you do each day to enrich the lives of our members and fellow team members. We continue to steadily increase both our occupancy and the size of our teams. Let's keep executing on our why by helping others live the wildlife. We have officially entered the fourth quarter. Let's finish the year strong.